All right, this is going to be my review of the um, Jetson electric bike. Uh, it's kind of a scooter-like bike. Uh, it comes with, um, the, well, of course, the bike comes fully assembled except for the mirrors. You install the mirrors, uh, which just basically just screw right in. It comes with a charger, as you see. Uh, and the battery and everything mounted inside. So why don't I just uh, go over some of the, the features with you. It, um, it comes with a full set of lights so you you see that's the gauge cluster. Uh, it gives you the uh, battery uh, level. It gives you a speedometer and odometer and then this little graphic for the speed. It's, and then if you have the uh, high beams on or whatever, there's indicators for that. Um, there's uh, all the controls are on the um, on the handlebars. Uh, there's a, a headlight high and low beam. There's a turn signal. And I believe they flash in the back too. It is an annoying beep. Um, yeah, you push this button to make it stop. Um, there's a horn on each side. Yep, see? And then this is the uh, headlight uh, on and off and park lights, I guess. It's off and then park lights and then, um, or running lights, excuse me. If you put it in the running light mode, you get a very low beam uh, LED light, I guess, just to show that, uh, make you compliant. Um, and then, of course, the headlight. The, uh, the high beam is, um, there we go, it's a little brighter, um, seems to work okay. Uh, let me turn this off. The, um, the wheels are all cast aluminum wheels, 16 inch, uh, and rather fat tires. Uh, it's got a front shock absorber and disc, uh, big disc brake. Uh, so it seems to uh, to uh, stop really well. Um, you've got two brake grips. You got one on each side. Of course, front and rear brakes. And then uh, this is it's a twist throttle. Ah. It does come with foot pedals. You can um, and they they uh, I believe they fold. Well, they were folded up. But uh, I don't know how to fold those back, but um, they do fold up. This is very difficult. You don't want to you don't want to pedal uh, this way because um, it's a one-speed uh, you know bike setup. So it's very difficult to pedal. Plus this this um, this whole bike is 125 pounds, so it's not exactly a light uh, bike to pedal, uh, but like I said, it's set up as a scooter. Um, that's what it's primarily for. And if you don't want a gasoline-powered scooter and that maintenance and and uh, keeping up with it, uh, and they also weigh around 300 pounds. So this is a lighter alternative you can put on a bike rack on the back of your car and carry to the beach or whatever. Uh, it's got a uh, hook. You can like hook a grocery bag on there. And uh, I don't know why that comes apart like that, but it does. Uh, of course, it's keyed. It's got a key lock. And um, it also has a lock position, so this you can turn this over and lock it into place. Um, well, you can't see what I'm doing there, but if you uh, if you put it in lock, uh, if I can do it, well, anyway, it's difficult to do with uh, one hand, but if you lock this, it'll lock. Uh, the uh, steering so it can't move and it's, it's harder to steal. Um, but this key also fits in here to pop the seat. And in here you will find, uh, a, this is the controller. Uh, there's a little cubby here, you could store a little something something. Uh, this is the battery. This It's a um, 500 watt motor, but it's a 48 volt system. 48 volt, 17 amp hours. They say it's good for about 40 miles. The maximum speed is 20 miles an hour. And one thing they do here is state the federal law 
for electric bikes. And uh, federal law trumps all the state laws on regulating these things as motorbikes or scooters. They're electric bikes, they're bicycles, uh, and are subject to local regulation only as far as if you know your city says you got to wear a helmet or you have to uh, register your bike. Some places do that and most places don't. I live in an unincorporated area and that's not required. Um, this is a fail-safe, uh, well, looks like a circuit breaker to me, but this switch will cut the power off so even though you have the key or whatever, it won't go anywhere. So it, to me it's kind of an anti-theft uh, device such as it is. Anyway, um, it's got a little seat and a grab bar. You can conceivably put another person on here. There are not any foot pegs for another rider. Um, it's got a place for a um, license plate for the places that may need to have it plated. Uh, and uh, it's got a, one of these kickstands that gets the wheels off the ground. So if you uh, pull it forward, you see it um, comes down, you just put your foot on it and pull it backwards. See, I did that with one hand, so it's not too tough. Um, and what else can I show you? Oh, the charger. It comes with a very simple charger. It looks kind of like a laptop charger. And it's got two indicator lights, one that it's on and the other is the charge state. This I took it for a little ride, so it's a little down. Uh, but that'll turn green when it's fully charged. It's a lithium ion battery, so it's, um, it'll have like a thousand charge cycles before it um, is kaput. Uh, it's got a little uh, port here, so you can uh, plug your, you know, the cord in to charge it. Or you can also remove this battery completely and plug it into the charge. So you can leave this outside, locked up to a bike rack, pull the battery out, take it in the house and charge it, uh, or whatever. Um, so there you go. Um, it's got a regular chain drive, just like a bicycle. Uh, if you can see in there, there's a chain. It's got a nice guard on it. You lubricate this periodically. It's got a rear suspension spring. Uh, it's got a really nice smooth ride. Uh, and it, these bigger wheels help uh, with that. Um, it seems to me to be very stable. You can ride with your feet up here, or I like to ride them on the pedals. It, feel like it gives me a wider stance and a little bit more stability. Anyway, I bought this uh, to ride around at the beach um, when I go on vacation. And I usually carry an electric mountain bike, but um, and that's fine for a lot of the really um, uh, rustic places I like to go. And uh, and it's a little lighter, it's 50 pounds, and it goes just as far. But um, when I go to the beach or down to the Keys, um, I think a scooter is a lot easier to deal with. Uh, you, you're always going to the store and bringing things back and things like that. So I thought, you know, in a flat situation, this would be good. It, I weigh about 200 pounds, a little, a little under 200 pounds, and I found this gets, scoots along just fine with me on it. Uh, it's not a hill climbing monster. It is heavy. Like I said, it's 125 pounds. So. Uh, bear that in mind if you are thinking this would be something for you to take to really uh, hilly locations, you'd probably be a little disappointed. Uh, unless you know, if you're 105 pounds, uh, maybe it would work out really well for you. But I found for an average sized person that um, it's, it's adequate power to get you around in flat areas, um, but it just doesn't have hill climbing power, um, not with a 500 watt motor in this kind of weight. So that's the caveat. Anyway, I bought it on Amazon, and it came, if you want to see, it was bolted to this big metal frame. Uh, I don't even know what I'm going to do with this, uh, but it's, it's a nice uh, galvanized steel frame, and it was wrapped in a box, so you just cut the box off, and then you have the bike sitting in here. You uh, unbolt these two things, uh, and they pop right out. Uh, so it was well protected. It arrived in perfect condition. I was very happy with that. Um, but uh, I wanted a scooter, uh, but I didn't want to have to have something else gasoline wise that I had to maintain and protect when I'm not using it. This will sit here happily waiting on me to use it again. Um, so anyway, I'll report down the road how it's working. I ordered this on Amazon.
and um, it came in just a couple of days uh, by ABF Freight or ARB Freight and uh, they brought it right to my door and uh, set it down for me and uh, they were very good and professional. Uh, the thing about these bikes, they come in a multitude of colors. Uh, I think there are about a dozen different colors. And if you look on Amazon, if you order from Jetson, they're $1,800. If you order from Amazon, uh, they're around $1,599 uh, and free shipping and uh, no sales tax unless it's, you know, in your, in your, your state requires it. Uh, but uh, if you poke around in the different colors, uh, the prices will vary. Some of the unpopular colors at the time uh, will be a little less. Uh, I kept an eye on this. I wanted a red one. Uh, I got this for fourteen forty-two, and then immediately after I clicked buy and and had it coming my way, I checked on it again, and it was back to fifteen ninety-nine. So the prices vary. So just keep your eye out for a bargain if you're not real picky on color. If you like a lime green one or whatever, that'd be okay with you. You might get a bargain. So uh, keep that in mind too. But anyway, you can order direct from Jetson or you can order it on Amazon. I don't know where else you can get them. I don't know if there are local dealers where you live. Uh, but anyway, I thought I was impressed with it uh, for fairly cheap as these things go. Um, it seems to be pretty well put together and I hope I'll be happy with it. Anyway, thanks for watching.